Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO haul from Brick by Brick, and you can see a big thing here. But first, I just want to mention that I did get Stormbringer, um, which you'll see a review of this very soon. And yeah, the box is in awful shape, but I knew that going into it. There was a picture of it like this. Um, and like, I think it probably got a little smushed during shipping because I didn't package it super, like, 100% perfectly. But I mean, honestly, whatever, because the box was already going to look awful anyway. But, I paid like $11 for that, I got it like super duper cheap, placed a lowball offer and it was accepted, so I was like, okay, sure. That's fine, Stormbringer wasn't one of the sets that I was like, super duper excited about, so I'm not too bummed about not having a good box for that. But, this is the haul that you're really here to see. I bought this off of some Facebook listing, and... The main reason I bought it, this is not the main thing I'm excited about at this point, because uh, there's something that I found while digging really, really briefly through here. Uh, but the main reason I bought it was because it had this, and um, the whole, everything you see here cost me $60 total. And it had this, which uh, turns out is actually mostly sealed. Bags 1 and 2 are open, um, but... Like you'll see the stickers here, the sticker sheet is unused, except for the two stickers that go on a little side build. And the little side build is the only thing missing. Um, but this is what has been built so far, and I looked at the pictures, it does look like this is, you know, the end of bag two. So it looks like everything should be here as inside here, you know, all the other bags are sealed. And then bags three, four, and five, and then there's all the bags in the set. So, you know, it, it looks like should be able to build the X-Wing at least. And other good news is that Poe and BB-8 are included in bag 4. So, you know, I, I will have those too many figures. But I am missing, uh, basically I'm missing this stuff here, which I'm not too bummed about. Uh, you know, it would have been nice to have, but, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. And, you know, with with that there, the retail price of the set is $80, and, you know, it's obviously not complete. I'd give this about, I'd give it $30 of value, that's probably a little, a little stingy, but, you know, I, I'd pay $30 for this for the next thing, I guess, probably. And I don't have any X-Wings, so, you know, it'll be cool to at least be able to build that, but... Then we've got all this stuff, and I was digging around in here and found this, the Lightning Dragon, uh, from 2011. I don't own this set, and this is a pretty cool Ninjago set. It was relatively limited, and it's relatively hard to find now. Like, the cheapest used one on eBay is $175, and this head alone, I think, I don't remember if it was in new condition or used condition. I looked it up, and it was like $15 for just the head. So, yeah, it doesn't look like this is 100% complete. Um, you got the back section here as well, which is a part missing to connect the two. But, and you know, obviously some pieces missing here. And there might be even some more inside here that I just haven't found yet, but it looks like it is going to be a mostly complete set. Uh, the one kind of downer here is there is some yellowing damage here and you know most noticeable in this part and I don't know where the yellowing damage comes from it doesn't smell like smoke or anything and you know these aren't super duper old sets but I'm gonna try um, you know de-yellowing those we'll, maybe I'll do a video on that when I get to that part um, you know and see how that goes and you'll notice there's some other stuff that has some yellowing like this here this is part of a Star Wars set, I think. I don't know if it's complete. And most of the minifigures are missing from this uh, whole thing. We got this Minecraft set. I don't know if it's anywhere near complete. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and throw this together, too. You know, just to see if it's mostly there. It doesn't look like it has the guests or anything, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can build a nether, tiny nether. It does have the instructions for that, though. And then this, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I think it's a Star Wars little walker thing. I don't know if it's near complete or anything. 
this, I think, I think this might be part of the Twilight. I don't know, it doesn't look like all of it's there either, but possibly. This ship here is mostly complete here. I think, like, the only thing it's missing is another one of those. Um, yeah, maybe one of these two. And the little missiles look like they're missing. And I think there are things that come off of these ends that end up in front of the ship. But I don't know, I already have one of these. Uh, and this one doesn't have the minifigures here, but, you know, it's... It's not a bad little set, but I've, you know, gotten a used partial one, and now this one too. So, this will be the third time I have most of this set. I don't know what I'll do with it. I might, I might try and sell this one just to recoup some of the costs. See if anyone wants a mostly complete one. Um, but, that is most of the big stuff. Also, there's this space shuttle. I don't know what this space shuttle is specifically. It's from City of... Well, actually, it's probably set number 3367, but I don't know what that set looks like off the top of my head. It's really, really, like, filthy, though. It's gonna need a mega clean. I can't tell if this is... Like, this it might not even be yellowing damage. This might literally just be dust. This is crazy dusty and dirty. So, you know, that will need to get uh, cleaned up, for sure. Uh, part of a ambulance helicopter... I don't, I don't know. It might have more of it there. We got this uh, part of a Star Wars walker. I don't know which one specifically. It's probably uh, an ADAP, right? Or ATAP. Uh, but it's got this. Uh, whoops. It's got this uh, this funky motion here, which is that, that's fun. I don't know if this is mostly here. I will probably try and. Uh, put it together if I can just for that. Again, it's got a little bit of yellowing damage though. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know what these sets went through, but some of them are pretty yellowed. Um, this is another one of the big things that's in here. We got a TIE Striker. Mostly complete. Looks like it's just missing some of the stuff off the front here. And you know, th This could be cool to put together. It's also missing two of these things with the stickers on them. It looks like, but again, it's going to need a little bit of cleaning. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This could be a cool ship to just have. And is this... Uh, okay, so you can flip the wings down. Okay, there we go. That's how that works. And it's got the cockpit in there. Um, there is one pilot. We'll see the minifigures that are with this in a second. Not a ton, and most of them are not here, but there are a couple. Got this little car. I don't know what it's from, but the roof is a little yellow. Uh, I have no idea what this bag of parts is for, but at least keeping them in the bags kept them a little bit uh, cleaner. Uh, looks like there are some small Playmobil, like that's a Playmobil hand cover thing, I think. And we've got a pen. Well, there we go. It only cost me $59.99 now. And it is labeled Star Wars. I don't know if it's actually because it's Star Wars. Uh, oh! That's part of a snowspeeder. I don't think I own a snowspeeder, right? Unless I have one in a bulk rod that I'm forgetting about that I haven't put back together. Uh, but yeah, there's some some interesting pieces in this small little bag. And I wonder if I could build up a snowspeeder. That'd be cool. Uh, no idea what this is from, but it's yellowed. Uh, print though, right there. And this, I think this is part of a clone turbo tank, which, I'm not going to lie, it'd be kind of cool to put together a clone turbo tank. I don't know if I'd have the space to keep one sitting around, but it'd be cool to build at least once. This is part of a, uh, a Gungan set, uh, you know, that carries battle droids, I think. I think I have a bunch of random battle droids, so I don't know, it could be cool to just have this on display with some battle droids being carried. This is mostly complete, too. It's a... Uh, I don't know, Plo Koon Starfighter, I think. The astromech droid was inside that, and I moved it with the other minifigures. Uh, this is Sacy Tins, I think, right? And it looks like the bottom of it is here, but it's missing the uh, like cockpit that doubles in an escape pod. Part of a Janesian cannon. Uh, no, some cool pieces. I don't know if it's complete, and I don't. Doesn't have the Janesians, uh, but could be cool to, you know. Put together 
Uh, it, lo it looks like this part of it is mostly complete. I didn't see this before. This is a one of those droid speeders, and it looks like it's got a good chunk of it there. Could be uh, easy enough to finish that up. This again looks like part of that same uh, ship from before this one. I think that these white pieces are from that. And the one thing that I do know is also from that is this, um, the big giant wing piece. I'm just going to stick these on right like that. Just that I remember. Looks like this is part of an Endor thing. I wonder if they had the uh, the Endor compound base thing, and that's where the, the walker thing was from too. This is a General Grievous ship. I don't own a General Grievous, and I don't think there's one in here. So, you know. I think a lot of the pieces of this were here though. Like, it's got the side thing. I don't know, maybe if I get a General Grievous at any point, it could be cool to put this together. I don't know what this is from, but it's part of a road. And, you know, it's a cool piece to get. This is. I have no clue. Um, so, yeah. It's got one of these, uh, I don't know if I have any of those transclear worm and wheel things. Again, more foliage. Foliage is always cool. I don't know what this is. Is this maybe a vulture droid or something? Part of a crane set number 4645. Easy enough to find out what that is if I wanted to. I'm assuming that 4429 is this helicopter. I don't know what this is. Probably something Star Wars. This is a little, uh, crate. Just a cool piece if it doesn't go into anything in particular. I think this is again part of that first ship. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is part of a Minecraft thing, I think. That's cool. A nice uh, metallic gold tile. And is this part of. No, I don't know. I was going to say maybe this is part of one of those walkers. I don't know with this being that shape. Um, Flick Missile, I don't know what it's from, but it's got a black minifigure head. This is this is from the General Grievous ship. I don't know if it goes inside the ship or if it's just a side build, but I think I remember there being a surgery chair like that. Uh, run around a little space here. I'm going to put the Grievous ship over here. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a crane of sorts. It looks like it's construction with this stuff. I'm not sure uh, where it's from. Got the other half of that wing. Um, an ATM from a city set, I think. I think that's a mostly complete little build. I don't know. I guess it's cool to have an ATM. I think there are a couple of these in here. I believe that these are for the clone turbo tank. I'm just going to leave it in there because it's too small to justify removing it for no reason. Uh, this actually might be from the helicopter from that Ninjago set. This little skeleton one. This is Ninjago 2, probably. I don't think it's... Oh, it's probably the other, uh, the other claw for the other side of the wing. So it probably goes somewhere like this. I don't know how exactly, but it attaches similarly to that. And again, this is probably for that helicopter since it has the purple on it. Uh, all sorts of stuff in here. I don't know what this is, but, you know, cool piece. Well, I mean, I, I know where it is, but I don't know where it goes. This is not Lego, so being removed. This is probably Ninjago. We got a uh, cone with a claw inside. No clue where that's from. It's more. Uh, it looked yellowed from a distance, but I guess it's not. Oh, it's yellowed on this side. What? What is that piece? It's a two by or a four by ten or four by four by eight with just studs in the center. I've never seen that piece before. It's interesting. But yeah, more yellowing. Uh, 
this is no, it's just a lot of stickers, but something separate issue. More plants. Catapult. Sounds very indoor to me. There's a ton of instruction booklets here. I don't think I'd be able to complete most of the sets that have instruction booklets here, but this is a whole giant mass of them. Uh, but, uh, I don't recognize that set, actually. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Mace Windu Starfighter. Interesting. Uh, th this this figure right here is cool, uh, but I don't think he's here. It'd be cool, though. But, yeah, we definitely have part of one of these in there. Uh, how close is it to complete? I don't know how the battle droid attaches. Oh, okay, so these go down like that. So I guess it just needs the handle and the uh, top thing. So that I'll have a step, I guess. Um, this I've seen before. I think I have part of one, but I don't think I see it here. And this, no figures, but actually that speeder's cool, so I would build that if the parts are here. Um, this is what I saw before um, with that battle droid thing. Looks like it's about half complete in the way it currently stands. Again, no tauntaun, but instructions. Ah, uh, so that might be where all the foliage is from. I uh, have that too. Another instruction booklet for this. Some Playmobil instructions are not Lego, they go over there. Uh, Cad Bane, oh, so some of those blue pieces might be from the Cad Bane speeder. The instructions are here, but destroyed. Um, this is the, so the snow speeder is from the Wampa Cave, it looks like. And there was a barrel in here, so maybe it's from this. Another one of the speeders. Mandalorian battle pack, I own one of these. So we saw that in here. We saw that too. There's the genie from Canon. Lots of instructions here. Uh, this is the clone turbo tank version that's partially here, I think. Oh, I think maybe those green parts go to that. And that said, obviously, we saw. I think we might have seen pieces from that in here. Oh, that big half dome thing goes to this. And yeah, we saw a lot of that set. I don't know if this is going to be complete at all. I haven't seen the cockpit section. And this is another one of those big bounty hunter speeders. Oh, that's, I saw that piece in there. And yeah, there's the twilight. I don't know if what we've got looks to be near complete at all. Grievous is a uh, ship. We might have most of that. And then the TIE Striker, that's all the instructions with this, aside from, oh, it's the Bulbous Pod. Actually, if this, if the parts for that are in there, I don't even care about the figure of the planet, but it would be cool to have this to display with the newer Anakin's um, pod racer. Yeah, there's some small parts in there. Uh, this is from an A-Wing. Uh, I think I have this set. Uh, this could be, from that spaceship. Um, this looks like it's mostly complete. Maybe I'll clean this up and then, you know, just have this creator set. Uh, I don't think that would have had any figures, for sure. This could... I don't know, I guess there's not one missing from the TIE Striker in its current form. So I don't know what that's from. This is one of those dark green things. Actually, maybe from the ship. This, again, goes here with that. Uh, the figures are in this bag, we'll look at it in a second. So this looks like it's one of the bounty hunter things. This bag looks like they bagged up most of the clone turbo tank and then got bored. Uh, there's the other part of Grievous's ship. This looks like it's a wall of this helicopter thing. Or plane? I don't know. I haven't seen the blades of the helicopter. Speaking of, there's one. And I don't know what this is. It's something. This is probably something too. Oh, this is possibly the roof of this helicopter right here. And it 
would go like that. And then we'd have the tail up here or something, something along those lines. And then I just don't know what the blades would look like on that. So I don't know, maybe I'll be able to build one of these up. I need the inverted slopes too, probably. Another one of those weird flags. And then this is not Lego too, this is some weird knockoff. As well as one of those Playmobil seagulls. Uh, but yeah, that's about all we got here. Uh, this looks like it's part of maybe one of the little battle pack walker things. But yeah, um, lots of stuff here. I don't know how much of it will be worth trying to piece together, uh, but it's definitely going to need a clean. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, I think the condition of the actual pieces was worse than I was expecting. However, there was um, the Ninjago uh, Dragon, which was beyond my expectations, and it'll be awesome to be able to get a mostly complete one of those. Hopefully, it will be complete enough to the point where I can easily brick link the rest of it. Uh, but, inside here, real quick, um, this is mostly parts for the skeleton uh, helicopter, but also all the minifigures that I noticed in there. We got these two astromech droids, which they seem to have removed all of the valuable figures, but for some reason they left these. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're not valuable at all, but I would have imagined they'd be kind of desirable. Uh, there was also a TIE fighter pilot, two of these generic snowspeeder pilots uh, from the battle pack, and also this crazy figure from Ninjago, which I don't own, but the gesture hat has a little bit of damage right there, which is unfortunate, but still the face print on there is, and the body print are in fine shape perfectly usable, and it does have the four skeleton heads that are used as projectiles in the dragon thing. So, yeah, that's uh, all we got here. Lots of stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick little pan over of the kind of slightly separated out. My uh, room is a little bit of a mess, so I don't have a ton of uh, space to do all this. Uh, so that's why we've been a little bit confined here. But yeah, I don't know, maybe Maybe if there's something in particular that you see that looks like it's mostly complete, you think you can... Oh, we missed that instruction booklet too. But if you think there's anything that looks like it's worth completing up, um, you know, with, with considering that there are no figures, uh, then let me know in the comment section down below. I know for sure I'll be working towards that uh, Ninjago dragon over there. That is the one thing out of here that's definitely going to um, get an attempted completion in there. And I'll probably also try and build this little step because I think I should be able to. Uh, but, you know, the, the rest of it, maybe we'll see. Maybe we, we'll we get a couple other cool Star Wars ships out of this. Uh, but regardless, I think that for the parts that are here, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, the condition of them, you know, is debatable. But I think that for $60 it wasn't bad, especially when you consider that part of that was the uh, X-Wing. I think between the X-Wing and the mostly complete Dragon, I think I've definitely got my $60 worth and the rest of the pieces that are, you know, able to be cleaned up and used. I think that, you know, those are just a good bonus. But yeah, overall, I think that, you know, first of all, I've got some work to do. Second of all, I don't know. Um, I, I think that what we got here was probably worth the $60. I, I might do a update video or maybe a series on this I don't know we'll see where it goes you'll definitely be updated on that Ninjago Dragon the rest of it I don't know if I complete something I'll probably let you know but I don't know be doing a bunch of a uh, bunch of sorting much cleaning and between the last segment and now my camera died I started taking apart that one little plane it's actually I didn't realize it was an alternate build of the Ocean Explorer little mini scale boat thing um, which I actually said that I'd kind of liked, um, but you know, never picked up because I'd never cared enough. But if that's here and complete, that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, anyway, before I blabber on and make this video another like 20 hours, uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys all next time. Bye everyone.